Six home security cameras capturing coyotes prowling the Queen City's neighborhoods. The State Wildlife Resources Commission says we are officially in coyote season. And new at six, WCNC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner shares one pet owner's warning about the dangers that those coyotes can pose to our furry friends. The day Emily Austin Dorr first met Nigel, it was magical. I went to three different places. I kind of wanted like a fluffy white cat. And then this little black and white cat one day walks up to me. He's the only little kitten in the whole place that walks up to me. So I was like, he chose me. Her sisters called him Magic Man. He's so magical. Just everything he does is just. He's like a human almost. In 14 years, Nigel went with Emily from city to city before settling down in South Charlotte. So he was always just up here on the porch. He was a great porch cat. He never traveled away from the yard. Until last week, when Emily awoke to a ping from her doorbell camera. She watched as a coyote crossed her front yard. Nigel wandered over. So they uh, just kind of came around here. I don't know what happened, but then um, Nigel ended up over here in this corner. His body lifeless. The coyote scurried back to the woods. And I didn't know how prevalent they were in your neighborhood. Coyotes are here in North Carolina. They're here to stay. State Wildlife Resource Commission's Fallon Owen says the fall is when teenage coyotes strike off by themselves. They often howl and wander into neighborhoods. Owen says they prey on small pets, but they're afraid of humans. If you see a coyote in your neighborhood, scare it off. That teaches them to be afraid of us. She says small pets should be kept inside, which Emily learned the worst way. What are you doing to honor uh, Nigel's life? Well, this for one, um, hopefully helping other uh, outdoor loved ones. And I don't know, I mean, it's been a week and I'm still in shock about it. He was my best friend. <laughs> Hoping her best friend's magic protects other furry friends. In South Charlotte, Brandon Goldner, WCNC Charlotte. A cautionary tale. Oh, my heart breaks for her. Yeah. I know those the fur babies are mm -hmm. really like their family, family members. Yeah. I guess it's important, you know, to think about though, you know, when it comes to these wild creature creature creatures, you know, we're like in their territory too sometimes. That is true. You know, that is true. And oh. hopefully someone watching this will be careful. Take heed. Yes. Yeah. Oh.